Hi guys! Today I'm going to read The Snail and the Whale by Julia Donaldson. This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great big grey blue humpback whale. This is the rock as black as soot and this is the snail with the itchy foot. The sea snail slivered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed, The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. These are the other snails in the flock who stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, be quiet, don't wriggle, sit still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sniffed and sighed, then cried, I've got it, I'll hitch a lift. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a slithery trail that looped and curled and said, lift wanted around the world. This is the sea, so wild and free, that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to tower in icebergs and far off lands with fiery mountains and golden sands. These are the waves that arched and crashed and foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. These are the caves beneath the waves with stripy fish and feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam around the whale and the snail on his tail. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny, blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. No. And she gazed at the sky, the sea and the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, amazed by it all, and she said to the whale, I feel so small. But then came the day, the whale lost his way. These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. This is the tide slipping away. Oh, poor whale. And this is the whale lying beached in the bay. Quick, off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I've got it, she cried, and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. This is the bell in the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. And this is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit stri straight, don't talk. This is the board as black as soot. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail! The teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail. A silvery trail saying, save the whale. These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen, digging a pool, spraying and spraying squirting to keep the whale cool. This is the tide coming into the bay and these are the villagers shouting hooray as the whale and the snail travel safely away. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said how time's flown and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves and how the snail so small and frail with her looping curling silvery trail saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail and on cried, crawled snail after snail after snail. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of a grey-blue humpback whale.
how many snails. Oh, the end, what a lovely story. Can you draw any pictures that have any of the animals that we saw in our story? Bye.